But Elena Villafana Sylvester keeps us updated on what is happening with Feel because it's time for volunteerism on now. Good morning, Elena. Hi, morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, if for those who don't know, you are the CEO of the Foundation for the Enhancement and Enrichment of Life. And today we're going to speak about hospital beds. Yes, um, uh, Carrie, you know, uh, we've had a very interesting time. Over the last couple of weeks, I've received numerous calls from members of the public inquiring about hospital beds for the care of their loved ones. So in keeping with the theme of love, um, you know, people really need hospital beds to properly care for loved ones that are ailing um, uh, and especially for the elderly, uh, for those that have difficulty in sitting up and have difficulty coming off of a normal bed. A hospital bed is really an amazing device that can help them to, th that eases the ability to care for them. Right, and just to, um, on the functional side of it, the hospital bed is one that is able to uh, raise, to lower, to recline. Exactly, exactly. So, so it would aid in many ways uh, where people would otherwise have limited mobility or exactly, uh, movement. Exactly, right? exactly. So um, when it comes to that, a hospital bed isn't a cheap thing. Right. But Phil has been, you know, um, in the vineyards doing the work, collecting the funds from various organizations, including uh, Corporate Trinidad and Tobago, exactly. to be able to provide these services to enhance the lives of those who, would, who need it most. You hit the nail on the head, Carrie. Right? Th that's exactly what we do. And so because of that, and because of the increase in the demand and the request for hospital beds, um, we recently got in a shipment of approximately 10 hospital beds. So these are electric hospital beds. And if I can quote a, a technician that actually came to check the beds for us, he was like, oh my God, this is the Rolls Royce of hospital beds. Really? It's really, 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 really um, fantastic quality beds that we have available. But there is an issue in terms of, these are the electric ones that you plug in and, uh, and as you say, you press a button and, right. and it moves for you. But we also have another category of clients that are not able to bring those beds into their homes because the beds are larger. Right. So I have good news, and that's what I wanted to share today as well, is that we will be getting a shipment of hospital beds that are those that they, they come dismantled, I see. and then you could mount them up. So they wouldn't have the same, uh, th they're not uh, the, the, the same quality of the, um, as the electric ones, right. but those are really... Um, geared towards the homes that have the narrower doorways. And so what we found is that people have had difficulty getting the larger beds into, into their, their homes. homes yeah, well, into the rooms in right. particular, because you know some of our homes have narrow doorways. Right. And so what we've tried to do is to cater to both um, types of clients. Right, so that it'll be able to be uh, mounted in the room itself. Exactly. So it'll, it'll, it's more feasible. Exactly. So, I don't know, maybe I could do a DIY on how to mount one of those on the... Oh my <laughs> gosh, maybe show. I'll bring it for you because... <laughs> because it may not be so straightforward to some people, right? Exactly. Yeah. That is a fantastic idea. I think that we'll definitely need to put that because it's going right. to be a learning experience for That's us right. as well because we've never done this. Um, uh, what we try to do is to be responsive, right? right? To the need. So it's always a learning process exactly. for us to feel as well. You know, um, it's really easy for you to offload the fully mounted electric bed, and we test it, and, it and you it. roll it in yeah. um, to wherever. Now, the, the, some key things for persons to know. One is you must apply for the hospital bed. The application form is the FEEL assessment form, and it's available on our Facebook page, which is FEEL, T and T. You spell out the word and. It's in the notes section of the Facebook page. That's one. Secondly, for the hospital beds, you, with the application, we must have a letter from a medical professional that says that the individual needs a bed for their care. Right. Um, because that's vitally important. We don't have an inexhaustible supply, an unlimited supply. So we want to make sure that the persons that we lend the beds to are the persons that are really, really need and can use the bed for I, their um, care. I, I like how you uh, made it clear that it's a loan. It's a loan. Exactly. Because a bed, as you said, is a very expensive item. Right. So we lend it to you, you use it, and then you will, when you no longer need it, then you bring it back to us so that we can lend it to someone else. The beds come with mattresses. The mattresses have a thick uh, plastic cover that right. allows it to be easily sanitized. Right. So it's easy to care for. So there's no concern that the mattress... Um, 
cannot be cared for. It has a, a special covering, so that's important um, for persons to know as well, so that you can be comfortable that you'll be able to care for it. And of course, you need to take responsibility for it. You sign a hospital bed loan agreement with us that says that you are going to take responsibility for this bed when it's in your care. Right. So you continuously clean it. You make sure that um, you know you, you do not damage it in any way. So well, since you mentioned important. the damage, because again, uh, it's a loan of a very expensive product that uh, would be in someone's personal space and within their responsibility, it'd be in their care. What if what happens if um, one of the beds, especially one of those expensive electric ones, are damaged? Okay, so well, there there is damage that you will not that you may not have control of. So let's say, for example, if you had a house fire, that is something that you cannot control, right. and Field understands that. But then there may be damage where I'm just going to give you an example. Right. Um, someone borrowed one of our beds and they no longer need had use of it and they put it out in the rain um and told field you know come and collect your bed we right. left it outside because we no longer need it right um you will need to take responsibility for that so there is a penalty in our loan agreement there is a penalty clause that says that you will have to recoup to feel or you will have to provide field with the with the cost for right. replacement of the hospital bed so right. those things are important for yes, individuals definitely. to know. We are lending this to you so that you can care for your loved one. We want to be able to care for others as well. Yeah, okay? because you know they would not be the only ones with loved ones. Well, with that, Elena, okay. I want to thank you for joining us this morning and always sharing the wonderful work that Feel is up to. Uh, this has been Volunteerism on Now, and I've been joined by Elena Villafana Sylvester, CEO of the Foundation for the Enhancement and Enrichment of Life. Now I'll jump across to Ayinka. Because we are, um, we have a live DJ in studio, yeah, and we and we will every day up until kind of Friday. So DJ Keith Riley, what's happening on your end? Cool. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm just enjoying the vibes you're providing oh, all I morning. Oh, I love that our guest is enjoying the vibes <laughs> too. She's rocking and swinging. Now this particular song is getting people very active. Very much so. Everybody feel they could be the silver super right now. I was asking Keith if he would uh, do a little. No. Nope. Mm, okay. <laughs> oh, next thing I'm going live enough and everybody just. Uh, you have trust issues, you have yeah. trust issues. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. This one's a big one for the carnival season, though. Yes, I feel like is. it could be a good vibe heading into a fet, coming out of a fet. Either way, is a good vibe. It gets your bong bong. Sure. Yes, it does. See you guys. Already, already. <laughs> and that, my friends, is why you need to have safety at all times. I just jump on a stage drive and the evil. You guys, uh, we right. are getting ready for action. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that that one in particular is is very, very infectious. You know, you just can't help yourself. You you want to do something a little risky. <laughs> but please, always ensure that you practice full safety and take all precautions necessary, even when in a fet environment, to ensure that you and the ones around you are not harmed in any way. All right, we're going to take a short break and come back while I go dive off the stage again. <laughs> all right, <dive>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.